Let's do some quick math. Let me ask you a question. What is one plus one? Of course you know, but I'll ask you to show me. Okay, I see two over there, but unfortunately that is not the right answer. The right answer is right here. What? Am I going to prove you that by writing some complex mathematical equation that I've discovered? Not really. I'm not another mathematical genius, but I surely discovered something else. In fact, it's not that complex either, but it's out of the box solution. And let me tell you one secret. There exists a world of zeros and ones, binary. And if you sum one and one, you get one zero. This is a story of just another girl in the wonderland of binary. When I was in primary school, I got my first computer. Just like every kid, playing games or drawing in paint were only things I could do. Then I didn't know much, except how to browse or refresh 15 times, meaning that will improve the speed of my computer. Throughout my years spent in school, I was an excellent student, but some of my teachers didn't believe that I was a math or computer genius. In high school, there was a moment that changed the way how I see numbers. Do you remember your first step on a test? I surely do remember mine. It was a lecture about algebra where I failed the test. After this, students would usually continue to complain about how hard mathematics is, but I proved myself that nothing is impossible to learn by doing an action. I was dedicated to learn about the world of numbers. And after some research on the internet, I realized that numbers are really not that bad. After that, I realized that nobody could convince me that there's a field that's not meant for somebody. I believe that failing is good. It can lead us into a direction where we have never explored things. You can start again and try until we accomplish our goals. It's simply because we have already lost once. Second time is just a tough fight with only one person. And that one person, it's someone you see in the mirror. It's you. Mathematics opened the doors of many possibilities for me. So one day, I thought I can try something new. There was a course for beginners in C++ programming. It was my first time seeing the code and writing it. I thought that it was magic, but it's not. Programming is just giving a set of instructions to a computer, which is actually non-intelligent machine, but it can calculate pretty fast. After that, I realized that I can do something bigger. That is why I think that programming is giving us open-minded experiences. I think that everyone in the future will have to understand at least some elementary code instructions. At that time, I was discovering that all alone, and I was constantly discovering new ideas. Hey, I can make a calculator for my physics class, or I can discover some math formulas, or I can even do something bigger. In that world, I was figuring out that alone. And you can do it too. Google is my best friend. It's simply because there is no thing that you cannot learn there. I see a lot of problems in our society. Sometimes I used to think a lot about it and felt terrible if there's nothing you can do about it. I was a crazy teenager who had a lot of ideas. So my favorite time was searching through the internet and exploring. As a high school student, what else could I do except complain about education? I really believe that education is the core of our society, but there was no exciting change that will be happening right now. But one thing is always true. The world is developing, and we need some exciting change for the future students. STEM which stands for science, technology, engineering, mathematics, is the most popular area of research right now. Highest paying jobs and opportunities can be found here. 
I could not ignore the fact that in the US, teenagers were pro provided with labs, classes, and clubs. Meanwhile, in Bosnia, it wasn't just that we didn't have labs, but my classmates didn't even know what STEM stands for. And there was born my first idea for the mobile app, a game where children are able to have fun while answering on some quiz questions and subconsciously learning. I wondered if all of that was possible. And yes, it was. Me and my team of high school students publishing an app for the first time. That mobile application got into fourth place in trending from Google Play Store and was downloaded a thousand times by kids who finally had an opportunity to become scientists, technology specialists, engineers, and mathematicians. Children around Bosnia proved that no matter everything, there is something about STEM, but an approach in our education system must be customized for 21st century. Collaboration between students is important, and it presents a special connection. You probably know that moment when your teacher has been talking for 45 minutes, um, but you lost him about around fifth minute. Yeah, familiar. Uh, after this, you would usually go to your teammate and ask them, hey, what was our teacher talking about for 45 minutes? I came to this conclusion with the colleagues of mine on the first and biggest female hackathon in Bosnia-Herzegovina. Hackathon is a coding competition where in about 48 hours, you are supposed to solve a problem and offer an innovative solution. We created an app for peer-to-peer -peer learning. Students with an experience can help other students when everything goes down in school. Our app won the first place. But besides winning, our favorite thing about that app were the positive reactions of other girls. We proved that ideas like these can live, and you need just a little encouragement to transform them into a reality. By providing a good education, every young person feels motivated to continue improving. The world of opportunities becomes endless when others start listening to us. But dear high schoolers, students, my friends, we all have to agree that we are scared of that first contact. We are scared of being rejected, not being good enough. In our schools, we won't learn about how to apply for a job or how to catch that one opportunity that's waiting for us. I learned this at my first ever internship in one of the biggest companies in Sarajevo. Then they opened their doors for me, and after that, I realized that in right places, others will get the best out of you. Then, that fear was long behind me, but what about others? What about those forgotten dreams? In today's world, we lose empathy and try to achieve individually as much. But it's okay to sometimes think about other people. That is why in 2019, there was a team of students and a high schooler, myself, who had one dream. And that one dream is to give an internship of the dreams to students around Bosnia Herzegovina. Currently, 10 students are working at those companies and achieving their wishes and goals. If you're still asking yourself, what was the point of my first question, what is one plus one? Here is the explanation. Sometimes there are those people who, think, who don't think the same as we. First, many would say that, hey, only if you ask what is one plus one in binary, those who are familiar with the binary number system would easily solve this problem. Yeah, that is true, but there are several cases. First, many would say that it was decimal, and they claimed the wrong result, which is two. Others sum it wrong in binary, and the rest of people don't even try. In our society, there are many zeros and ones misunderstood results. Things could be resolved better, only if we seek for right answers. My story is not yet another speech, but this is a call for everyone out there who dare to dream that you can make a change. Use the technology to develop solutions for education, environment, or health. Every community seeks for a better. So give young people a chance to create, and the world will be a happy place. Never give up in your intentions to develop grow, and believe that you are capable to achieve whatever you want. Mathematics, numbers, art, you can do it all.